Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 33 in Azure Data Factory Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to break out of for each loop on an activity failure. So let's see the use case in details. So usually in ADF, when we are trying to use for each activity in order to iterate through the inner activities which is present inside for each, then the behavior of ADF is such that whenever any one task inside for each fails, for example, if you are using a copy activity and there are multiple tables you are trying to copy from source to destination and one of the table got failed. So suppose there are thousands of tables and uh, say uh, the uh, 250th table got failed, still the loop would not end upon the activity failure. It will complete the whole iteration of 1000 tables but it will show that the 250th table got failed uh, while processing the data. So this is the default behavior of ADF, but sometimes our requirement might be such that we want to achieve atomicity. That means we might want to have all the iterations successfully completed or else even if there is a single failure of one iteration, then we want to abort the further execution of the remaining iterations. So as of now, there is no such direct way to achieve this. Uh, in ADF, there is no option to toggle on and off uh, if you want to have the atomicity of uh, pipeline completion or if you want to abort after one failure, then there is no such direct option. But we can implement a solution in ADF to achieve the same thing. So let's directly jump onto the demo part. So I will first show you how by default ADF behaves. Okay, so suppose this is a new pipeline that I'm going to create and uh, uh, I have a lot of tables in my SQL DB. So if I see the information schema dot tables, here you can see all the tables. These are all the tables present in my SQL DB and it has listed out uh, in this uh, output. Okay, so you can see these are all the tables. So I would uh, take around five, six tables. Okay, so suppose these many tables names I have copied and what we will do is we will just try to look up through these tables to get the results okay so uh, for this we will use a for each activity and inside for each activity we will use lookup activity to look through each of these tables to get uh, the column names and the data present in this these tables okay so inside for each we will be using lookup and inside lookup it will be iterating uh, uh, select start from this table then select start from this table so for each iteration it will pick one table and then it will uh, fetch the uh, content of this table okay so suppose if one of the iteration fails so suppose if we uh, remove s from this table name then it might fail uh, when it reaches this particular iteration right so we will see if it continues to uh, iterate through the next set of tables or not and if it fetches the data from these tables or it aborts after the uh, failure of one iteration okay so let's try to implement this so i will be creating a for each uh, activity here and it will loop through these table names so i will be hard coding the table names here so since this items requires array kind of element here here we want to pass the table names and it will iterate through each of the tables one by one and inside for each we will uh, try to fetch the content of the table using lookup activity. So how will we uh, create an array of table names? Uh, basically it wants to have the table names like this, right? Uh, suppose uh, Indian players and then this table name. So if we try to do this, even if it is inside the square braces, it will not consider it as an array, it will consider it as a string. So you can see string does not match the type field and it is expecting an array type. Okay. So instead of doing this, we will use a function called create array function. So whatever will be present inside the argument of this function, it will convert it as an item of the array. So here we will just provide all the table names. So let me add quotes here. In all the table names and just be mindful that we have purposefully uh, removed as from this table name Indian ballers right it was Indian ballers but we have removed as and now it is Indian ballers so it should fail when it comes to this particular table so 
let's try to copy this and we will try to create array on top of these table names okay so it it will automatically create an array using this create array function okay and we are expecting that it will fail upon this indian bowler table okay and we will also turn the sequential option as on so that we can see what is happening one by one all these tables are getting succeeded or uh, getting failed and then after failure it uh, uh, breaks out from the loop or not okay and if we do not do this then all the iterations will start parallelly okay and then we will not be able to see if uh, after failure something has ran or not because all of them will be starting at a time okay so inside for each i will try to use lookup activity in order to fetch the content out of each of the tables so i am going to point my data set to azure sql table so this is already created so i just selected it and i am going to leave uh, this first pro only option as true which is the default option so so that it will only uh, give us the result of the top one uh, row okay because our motto is not to really get 20000 rows but we want to know the process of breaking out out of for, for each loop okay so i am good with first row only option and now in this uh, use query option instead of table i will be using this query and here we will be using select star from and then table name right we are not going to hard code any table but it will be uh, one by one taking it from item item is nothing but the table name and one by one it will be fetching each of the table names and it will be assigning it here and then it will be like select star from uh, indian players then for second iteration select star from xml data uh, dc and then third iteration select star from dummy and then fourth iteration select star from uh, indian bowler and that's where it should fail okay so we are good now uh, we are good to run the pipeline and we will see if uh, the pipeline breaks out or the execution completes for the further tables or not okay so let's wait for the output so you can see the first uh, loop first lookup activity is completed and if you see select star from indian players this is the first table right which we have uh, provided in the for each and it is giving the output only one uh, row is available and this is the second one second table is also succeeded third table is also succeeded but you can see fourth table got failed and if we check it is the same table which intentionally we have uh, removed s and we have uh, given a wrong table name so it would have failed as we expected and the failure reason is also invalid table name or invalid object name indian bowler because it did not find any such table name and after uh, this failure again it executed these three lookups and it succeeded as well so basically imagine this way suppose you have a scheduled pipeline at very odd hours so suppose there is a scheduled pipeline at midnight and there is no one to uh, manually monitor the pipeline and stop the execution after one failure then we want to uh, automate this process of breaking out after there is a failure in any of the activities within for each okay so uh, this is what is the use case and we will achieve this using the implementation i am going to show now okay so uh, i am going to create another pipeline now okay so now what we will do is we will create a variable which will be acting as a flag okay so it can be turned on or turned off so which means it can be um, assigned as value true or false okay so let me uh, do it for lookup activity itself so if lookup failed so this variable name i am keeping as lookup failed so if lookup would be failed then it will be true and if lookup does not fail then it will be false so by default i will assign the value as false and now same for each i will be uh, dragging here and in the item let me copy it from the last pipeline so the same table names i am going to copy here so we are good and i'll be making it sequential and now inside for each we were using lookup activity so let me drag lookup activity here and 
in the same way let me use query and let me put select star from the table name which will be dynamically coming from item function one by one it will be taking each of the table names okay so now once this lookup fails then what we will do is we will assign the value as true okay so upon failure you can see i am dragging this uh, red color conditional path which is basically upon failure you can see i will hover on it you can see it says on fail and if i uh, select this on success okay so if it is a green line then it means on success run this activity and if it is a red line it means on failure run this activity so i'm not going to add uh, on success but on failure what we will do is lookup failed variable would be converted to true okay so once it detects any failure in this lookup so for that iteration the variable will be assigned the value as true now this is where we need to come out of the loop and we need to abort the execution and we need to break out from this loop okay so how do we do that so now we will have to use uh, if activity in order to check if this lookup failed variable equals true then we need to abort the execution or we don't need to further run the lookup activity so for that before the next iteration starts it needs to check using if activity right so what i will do is i will select these two activities using control i selected these two activities and now i will cut it and i will use if activity here and inside if activity i will paste those two activities but we will decide if we need to paste it in true block or false block okay so here in the activities what we can do is we need to compare if this variable value is equals to true then we don't need to do anything but if it equals to false then it should further execute means if there is no failure then it should execute the next iteration so either what we can do is either we can use equals function and we can compare it with the hard coded value like this okay okay so uh, what it will do is uh, this value contains true or false which is a string basically and it will compare with this string if it matches then it will go inside true or if it does not matches then it will go inside false okay or what we can do is we can make this variable value as boolean so instead of string we can make it boolean and then inside this what we can do is instead of giving all these expressions we can simply select this variable so if this variable turns true then it will go inside true block and if it turns false then it will go inside false block okay so by default this value is false as we have defined in the variable you can see the default value we have given is false okay so for the first iteration it will always be false right so uh, the lookup field value is false so it will go inside false and then let me paste those two activities which we had cut and upon failure i will just set it because we had cut so these two activities only uh, got pasted but the conditional path uh, was not copied so now we are set so uh, basically we have not defined anything inside true there is no activity inside true block because once this is uh, detected as failed then we are uh, assigning the value of lookup failed variable as true okay and we don't want to go further into the activity execution so, so that's the reason we have not added any activity in the true block but uh, suppose there is no failure then it will execute the next iteration using false block okay so let's try to debug this pipeline till this point and we will see if all the lookup gets completed as it was done before or it will break through after this particular table okay so we are expecting that after this it will not run any of the iteration of lookup activity okay so let me hit on debug and i'm just checking if sequential option is on or not okay so we are good you can see it has started execution and the first lookup is successfully completed and it is giving the result second is in progress let's wait it's queued let's wait 
second should also run fine third should also run fine fourth is the table which should fail okay so you can see since it is also checking if condition so it is taking more time uh, as compared to the previous run so you can see first is fine second is fine even third is fine third is select star from dummy and it is giving the result as well fourth is in progress and you can see uh, let me see here you can see one two three and fourth fourth lookup has failed and this should actually uh, assign true value to the set variable activity but you can see set variable also failed and if we check it it, it says the variable lookup failed is of type boolean and cannot be initialized with the type string so we are doing something wrong here you can see inside if condition false block let's see how it is taking up the value so here it is considering this as a string so is there any function to convert it to bool you can see this is a conversion function which converts anything to bool so we will be using this bool function and now uh, we should be good okay so don't worry about that once you publish this pipeline this uh, warning will be gone so i am fine with that uh, let's try to debug again and we will see if this time uh, this set variable gets correct value or not because last time it didn't work properly because it was still assigned as false and it also ran the next lookup executions okay so let's see this time so you can see first second execution is completed third iteration is in progress Okay, third is also completed fourth is in progress and we are expecting this to be failed because we have intentionally changed the table name to a wrong one okay so let's wait so you can see this lookup which is uh, getting the result from indian bowler table which basically does not exist uh, this table name is wrong and this has failed right with the same failure which is invalid object name okay and after this failed you can see this set variable would have changed the uh, variable value to true okay by default it was false but now it uh, changed it to true and then after this there is no execution of lookup activity you can see it only checked using if condition and in all of the if conditions it would have given the result of uh, the variable as true and inside true we do not have any activity so that's the reason it did not run any of the inner activities okay because there is no activity as such inside true block okay so that's the reason it has not executed lookup which is inside false block because set variable has set this uh, val value to true okay and only if the value uh, would be false for this variable then only it would have ran the lookup activity you can see this right it is inside false block so that's the reason it has broke out out of the for each loop okay and that's what our requirement was we wanted to break out even if there is one activity failure okay so this is how we can break out out of the loop uh, if there is any activity failure in adf using couple of steps including if activity and set variable activity we have achieved this so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the video and please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you please stay tuned